Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to install the uh, Konica Minolta printer on uh, your Mac. Today I've got the iOS 10.10 uh, .10, which is the latest at the moment and there's basically two ways we can install this printer driver. We can either use the uh, uh, download the Konica Minolta Postscript driver or we can use uh, AirPrint uh, the AirPrint protocol if that's uh, enabled on your printer. So I'm going to show you the, how to install it uh, using AirPrint so that the, does not require a printer driver. So to do that we're just going to go straight into System Preferences. We're going to go to Printers and Scanners. We're going to hit the uh, plus symbol over here. So click on the plus. We then get this Add Printer screen up. Uh, I've got a few printers here, but the one I want to install now is this one here, the uh, C224E Showroom. So you notice that uh, I've got that in the name there. I can put in a location here if I want to do that, just to know where it is if you have multiple printers. And down the bottom here, where it says Use Secure Air Print, I'm going to change that to AirPrint, uh, just to use the uh, that uh, the AirPrint protocol or the AirPrint uh, driver. Hit Add, and uh, that's now installed. Now I'm going to go to a uh, open up my application. I've got Word here, and I'm going to go through the uh, print settings to show you what's available when you use the AirPrint uh, without down downloading a printer driver. So if I go to File and Print, you can see I can select my new printer that I just installed, which was uh, this one here. And I'm going to show you uh, in this third one here, where it says Copies and Pages, that's where we've got all our print settings or print preferences. And I'm going to go through these, because uh, these are the uh, the uh, draw, uh, print properties uh, available using AirPrint. So if I go to media and quality you can see I can select what tray to print from so this printer has the multi-purpose tray or the bypass tray on the side plus tray 1 and 2. I can leave that at auto. I can also choose the media type or type of paper I'm using. The next one is layout. Uh, so you can see there we can set up number of pages per sheet or we can use this one to turn uh, double sided printing or two sided printing on or off. I can uh, go to paper handling and uh, a couple of settings in there, order even pages, pages or change the page order. What I wanted to show you We've got uh, the cover page setting available as well. Uh, so, you know, print a cover page before or after the document. And uh, we've also got finishing options available. So, on this printer, this has the uh, finisher installed, so I can select folding or the staple functions, one or two staples, or saddle stitch. And what uh, output bin or output tray to use. And uh, when I'm finished setting up my settings, just hit print and away you go. That's it.